elephant my exhaust that has no mufflers, no cat, and no resonator is now legal on the streets of California. Well, the interior is coming together, so next I'm going to get my sunroof taken care of. i got to get this guy removed, which means undoing all of my bolts up here and everything. It should save probably like 30 pounds of weight or so from the top of the car, which is the worst place to have weight. And more importantly, you can see how close the top of my seat here is to the top and my head goes like right there somewhere and it's going to hit this piece of metal. So I'm going to get this whole thing removed and put in a patch panel using this big piece of aluminum right here. This is the drain tube from the sunroof down, because I think down the side of the chassis into the ground. There's something very unsettling about pulling this super long tube out of this hole. I don't know what it is. Can't put my finger on it. Ugh. Nasty. And all this stuff came out of the uh, front drain. Just old, nasty, caked on, I don't know, whatever the hell it is. Super gross. That's a big hole. All right, now the big test. Will my helmet fit? Yay! I mean, it's still super close. I'm still gonna have to do something about this chair being lower, but at least I can get to my track day and not hit my head on anything. Wow, this bracket sucks. I think I'm gonna have to go through and cut off this ridge as well. There's like a I don't know, inch deep ridge that goes all the way around the sunroof. That stuff I don't need, and these bolts sticking down are right in the way as well. I'm gonna cut those guys off and then start riveting. So I took my cut off disc and I cut this piece off that went all the way around there and stuck down probably about that much on all sides all the way around. Most importantly on this side, the driver's side, so my head won't hit this thing while I'm sitting in the car. But the back won't need it because it's just kind of a rolled over piece right there and I might go through later and hammer this part up. But I wanted to keep a little bit there for added structural integrity of the roof. But now with that gone, I also went through with my flap disc and I, you know, kind of like all the burrs and stuff off. Awesome, now I can start planning out my rivets. I laid this piece of cardboard down and I have my little Sharpie. I'm gonna go through and trace the actual outline of the sunroof opening anyway. Tracing this out onto 5052 aluminum sheet. It's a 0 0.040 thickness. Okay, so I went through and marked off all of the holes that I'm going to be drilling for my rivets. I made them three inches apart all the way around, which hopefully will be close enough that they can hold things securely without bunching up or anything. So I'm going to take my center punch here and just do a punch hole along each of the dots around there and then take my eighth inch drill bit to drill each hole because I'm using eighth inch rivets. What the shit?
Apparently I can't drill eighth inch holes through a sheet of aluminum like this thick. I went and got some titanium drill bits. So there's a panel lined up in the middle of the sunroof looking pretty good. I kind of love the look of the unfinished aluminum. I wonder if I can keep that or if I have to paint it for rust, not rust for the aluminum, but rust for the holes that I'm drilling along the sides here. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to start drilling a hole in my roof, which is terrifying, but I got to do it. Oh, terrifying. So what I'm doing right now is I'm actually just drilling through the very top sheet metal layer of the roof because there's multiple layers in there. So I'm drilling through the top layer to just get my holes lined up and then I'll take this off and uh, drill each hole individually so I don't oval out any of the holes on my panel here. So the last step I do before putting in my rivets is laying down a bead of, uh, like this is 3M weather stripping, but any kind of gasket uh, maker or anything just around the holes. And this makes sure obviously that no water gets in underneath the panel. So I'm just gonna run this all the way around, covering both sides all around the holes and then inside as well. And there we have the final panel installed. I'm leaving it aluminum for now. I'm probably gonna end up painting it black or something, but I kind of like the sort of industrial, you know, unfinished aluminum look, but you can kind of see where some of this 3M weather stripping stuff is kind of squishing out, which is fine. I want that to happen actually, so it can get nice and dry and form a weatherproof bond. This is actually the first time that I have cut and done anything to the chassis that wasn't reversible. So this is now officially a race car because there's like, I don't know, a whole lot of holes drilled in the roof. And of course, earlier I cut these bottom tabs off here so my head doesn't hit on the sides or any passenger doesn't hit over there. So overall, I'm pretty happy with how this thing turned out. And from inside, you can see it just looks nice and shiny and uh, it's nice and firm. I'm pushing pretty hard. It doesn't even flexing, which isn't too bad for the thinness of this aluminum. All right, guys, that's one more thing off my checklist. I have my sunroof panel installed and my sunroof itself, which I just weighed is 35 pounds, is now gone. So 35 pounds out of the very top of the car is a really great thing for performance, obviously, and also uh, the fact that now I can sit in the seat with my helmet on and not smack my head on this guy. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching as always. Stay tuned for more Fully Spooled. There is always lots more coming. Um, I'm about two weeks away from my first ever track day, which is really exciting and terrifying because I have a lot more to do. So stay tuned for more episodes. Throw a like, maybe subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.